I'm Alexis Lake from Corning, and this is Inspired by Glass. A few years ago, Corning shared a vision for a world powered by specialty glass through our A Day Made of Glass video series, and we were amazed by the reaction. Leading brands, educational institutions, and designers from across the globe were excited and ready to collaborate with Corning to make this world a reality. Today, I'm standing outside of Kyle Field, home of the Aggies at Texas A&M University. This is one of the largest college stadiums in the US, and with so many fans on their smartphones, bandwidth and network connections can be challenging. But not anymore. We're checking out Corning's One Wireless platform and seeing how it enables a better fan experience. So, let's go check it out. I'm standing in the head end, about three and a half miles away from Kyle Field, checking out Corning's One Wireless platform. Here, all of the signals that fans are sending and receiving, whether picture messages, social media, or streaming videos, are sent over an all optical infrastructure. Hey, Gabriella. Hi. It's Alexis, where are you? I'm upstairs above the All-American Club. Are you down on the field? Yeah, isn't it amazing? Check it out. Pretty cool, huh? I can't believe we're able to video chat right now. It's all due to the one wireless platform. Even with over 100,000 people in the stands, everybody can be on their devices. Wow, that's amazing. I'd love to learn more. Absolutely, come on up. I even know where Mike is. He can answer some questions. Great, awesome. Sounds good, bye. bye. I'm here with Mike O'Day from Corning's optical communications business. Mike, it's great to be here with you at Texas A&M and Kyle Field. So tell us about Corning's one wireless platform. Hey, that's a great question, Alexis. It's great to be here in Texas. Uh, what it is essentially is an all optical distribution system that distributes cellular signals and backhauls data traffic to enable experiences like you're seeing and experiencing firsthand in Kyle Field and Texas A&M. So Mike, what are the problems and challenges that our technology solves for customers like Texas A&M? Yeah, it's a great question as well. In order to get fans out of the living room and into the stadium, you have to enable the best fan experience that you possibly can. So that you, as a fan, when you come to the stadium, uh, your, your phone works. It doesn't matter whether you're on the cellular network or the Wi-Fi network or both. Um, it needs to work so that you can share this experience, enjoy it, and share it with the friends that you like to share it with throughout the game and be able to call, be able to text, and be able to upload, download videos throughout the game. How has the network performed? Well, the network has performed uh, tremendously well. Actually, it's exceeded our expectations, I think Texas A&M's expectations as well. We have, in this facility, we have over 1,000 cellular antennas, over 1,300 Wi-Fi antennas, enabling, I think, almost 1,400, actually, TV screens or video displays and monitors. Um, so when you have that kind of connectivity um, throughout the stadium, you can imagine the kind of data that's being generated. In fact, um, a statistic from earlier, a game earlier this season indicated that Texas A&M for the data traffic on the Wi-Fi network alone uh, set a NCAA a collegiate record for the amount of traffic over the Wi-Fi network. Uh, second only actually to the Super Bowl last year. So what is the glass technology enabling the One Wireless platform? Yeah, well interestingly enough, it wasn't something we invented in the last couple of years to enable this kind of experience. It's optical fiber, an invention of Corning over 45 years ago. Uh, we haven't touched the, the capacity available this network yet even with 105,000 fans sharing their experience during the game there's plenty of capacity left for this network great thank you Mike I appreciate your time today yeah my pleasure enjoy the game thank you after talking to Mike we asked fans students and alumni about their game day experience let's hear it from them I've been really surprised when I've gone to game day at other college campuses sometimes you kind of have to rally with all the people that you're going to go to the game with because you know you're not going to have service. When we came on campus, if we didn't have a plan and we didn't know what was going on, you literally could not find someone on campus because you couldn't get service. And now 
you can you get that's not a problem anymore you can pen somebody in spence park and they can find you so <laughs> there's lots of great things that are better Heck, you couldn't even you make, couldn't a, phone even make a phone call or send a text message or anything and now it's kind of instantaneous uh, really access stuff we hadn't been able to in the past able to communicate with friends uh, via text or phone call to make sure they can you know still find our tailgate it's great to be able to send text messages to the people that aren't with us send them updates to the game Pictures of the Aggie Band at halftime, the great plays, all kinds of stuff. Check scores of other games on apps. It's way better this season. I really love it. You can upload right to Facebook or Instagram while in the stadium. Like It's really nice. But it's much better, and I appreciate it. Thank you. It's been awesome. Today, we saw how Corning's one wireless platform is enabling faster connections and a better fan experience here at Texas A&M's Kyle Field. And it's all powered by glass. Pretty amazing. Please join us next time for Inspired by Glass.